Hello everyone. Uh, today po, we will talk about sequences and patterns. Right? This is still under, under Math 6, Quarter 3, Week 2. Okay. So, let's have this review first. Okay, what is next? Choose A or B. Okay? Yeah, and so, with these patterns, what do you think is the next? Yan. So, that would be, ayan, letter B. Kasi, circle na ito, eh, diba? Circle, and then sunod ito. Diba? So, dapat after nito, edi eh, ito yung kasunod. Next. Right? What should be the next? Okay, tignan natin. Ayan, ito yon. Kasi, umikot lang yan yung diamond dyan. So, doon sa taas, and then bumaba, and then pumunta dito, and then pumunta dito. And then yan, and then baba ulit, and then dyan. E di, dito na dapat ang sunod, di ba? So, umikot lang yan. Next, right? Ano dapat ang next? Okay, so this is... Okay, down. So, tignan nyo, oh. Ang kasunod ng papunta sa right ay papunta downwards, di ba? Next. Okay. Ayan, madali lang. So, after ng yellow is the green one. Ayan, kasi iba-iba yung kulay nito, eh. So, madali lang. Okay? So, these are all some patterns na pwede nating masundan kung ano yung sunod. Okay? Now, this one. Right, we have here 3, 8, 13, 18, 23. Okay, so ano kaya ang sunod? Kung titignan mo, from 3 nagiging 8, and then nagiging 13, 18, 23. So ang dinagdag lang dito is 5. So kung dadagdagan natin yung fa ng 5, that would be 28, diba? Next, we have 5, 11, 15, 19, 23, and 27. So, kung i-check mo ulit, ang dagdag niya ay 4, diba? So, dapat, ang sunod nito is 31. Now, next, we have 4, 7, 10, 13, 16. So, ang, dag ang dagdag niya ay 3. So, next number should be 19. Next, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, ito madali lang. Kasi, mahalata muna. Nag-skip counting lang with 2. ba? Kaya, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, dapat ang kasunod ay 12. ba? So, ito, dahil ang hiningi is the next number lang. Madali lang. ba? Now, paano kung ang hiningi ay the 50th number? The 25th number? Or pang 500? Kaya pa bang sagutan? Okay? So, yun ang pag-uusapan with our Lesson. So, tignan natin yung next slide. Alright? The nth term of a sequence. So, pag sinabing nth term, kahit anong um, order, pang 10 man siya, pang 25, pang 50, ay kaya mo. Okay? Tignan natin kung paano gawin yon. Okay? Alright. So, ano ba ibig sabihin ng sequence? A sequence is a set of numbers written in a special order by the application of a definite rule. So, um, pwede mong tignan ano kaya ang rule for a certain uh, sequence. So, kung alam mo na yung rule, okay, edi magawa mo na. Okay? Each number in a, se in a sequence is called a term. To look for some patterns or rules will help us to continue a given sequence of numbers figures or to fill in the missing numbers or symbol. So, para um, magawa natin yan, okay, titignan natin yung patterns at ano yung rules. So, kung ma uh, malalaman na natin yun, edi eh, kaya na natin magbigay uh, ng mga missing numbers, kung ano yung mga hinahanap or masundan yung sequence, uh, sequence uh, numbers man yun or figures. Pero, for the rules, usually, sa numbers lang yun, ha? Okay. Check na that. Right, we have here the sequence. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, so kung titignan mo, nagdagdag lang siya ng 2. So, plus 2, you have 4, plus 2, you have 6, plus 2, and plus 2. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, nagdadagdag ka lang ng 2. So, kapag 2 ang idagdag, any number na idagdag mo, okay, para malaman yung nth term or yung rule ng nth term, okay, itatabi mo lang siya sa n. So, 
nth term, eh, di n ang gagamitin natin. So, itabi natin din, yung dinagdag na 2. So, this will be 2n. Okay? So, subukan natin. Kung ang n ay 1, uh, 2 times 1, that is 2. Ayan na yung first number. Okay? So, ganito lang siya gawin. Okay? Ayan yung first term. So, apply natin yung rule. So, the rule is 2n para makuha ito, mga numbers na ito, ba? And then, um, any number kapag itinabi sa isang letter, multiplication ang gagawin mo dyan, ba? So, papalitan natin yung n ngayon sa kung anumang order ang kukuhanin mo. Kung una man siya, pangalawa, pangatlo, pangapat man dito, okay? So, kapag papalitan mo na ito ng number to show multiplication, isulat mo siya in parenthesis. Kaya, ayan na siya. So, it means na that you are going to multiply 2 and 1. So, 2 times 1, that will be 2. So, first term natin is 2. At tama siya. ba? Now, tignan natin yung third term. Diretso tayo sa third term. So, again, um, ano tayo? Palitan natin ulit. Substitute natin yung 3. So, that will be 2 times 3. And that is 6. So, third term natin, 1, 2, 3. Ayan nga yung third term natin, which is 6. So, tama nga yung rule, di ba? Now, diretso tayo sa fifth term. Fifth term, that would be 2n again. And then, 2 times 5. And 2 times 5 is equal to 10. And yung fifth term natin ay 10. So, tama yung rule, di ba? So, para makuha yung next three terms, apply pa rin natin ulit ito. Katulad lang ng ginawa natin dito. Okay? And, kahit pa hindi natin gagawin to, pwede mo ma-check. Dapat pala, ma'am, ang sunod dyan is 12, 14, 16. ba? So, tignan natin kung lalabas yung 12, 14, 16. Okay? So, 6 term. 6 term equals to N. And then, substitute ulit. 2 times 6. That would be 12. So, lumabas ngayon 12. Next, we have the 7th term. 7th term is 2N. That would be 2 times 7 again. And that is 14. Okay? And then for the 8th term, you have 2n again times 8. And that is 16. So, the next 3 terms, tama nga yun, di ba? After ng 10 is 12, 14, 16. So, yun na yung next 3 terms natin. Now, for the 25th term, okay? Kung nagbibilang ka, nag-skip counting ka, matagal pa yon. Pero dahil alam mo na yung rule, eh, di apply mo lang yung rule and makukuha mo na yung sagot. So, that would be 25th term. So, that is equal to 2n. And then, multiply natin ang 2 with 25. Okay? And, sagot natin is 50. So, 25th term is 50. So, ganun siya kadali kung alam mo na yung rule. Kaya, kung hahanapin yung 100th uh, term, kahit pa 500th term, kaya mong sagutan. Dahil meron kang rule. Ang dapat lang uh, gawin is observe yung sequence, observe yung patterns, and then gawin ang rule. Okay? Tignan natin with the next example. Okay. The sequence here is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, so skip counting ng 5, di ba? Ang dinagdag dito is 5. Ayan o, oh, skip counting na with 5 eh. Diba? So, ang dinagdag is 5. Tandaan yung sinabi ko kung ano yung dinagdag, yun ang itabi mo sa N. So, this is just 5N. Diba? So, check natin ulit. First term. Okay, palit natin yung 1 sa N. Kasi ang kinuha natin dito is first term. So, 5 times 1, you have 5. So, first term, ayan siya. Tama, ba? Let's have the fourth term, diretso. So, palit natin yung 4 dito sa N. So, that is 5 times 4 and that is 20. Tama ba? First, second, third, fourth. Tama yung sagot natin. And then, fifth term, you have uh, 5N and 5 times 5 and that is 25. And this, ito na yung fifth term natin. And tama nga, ba? So, the next three terms would be the sixth. Okay? And then, substitute ulit. Times 6 na 10. That is 30. Tama. 7th term. Okay? Substitute ulit yung 7. And you have 35. And then, 8th term. Okay? Substitute natin. That is 8 times, or 5 times 8. And you have 40. So, tama. ba? Kasi, kung bibilangin mo, uh, skip counting ka, you have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And then, the next 3 terms ay 30, 35, 40. 
Yan. In, nakuha natin yan gamit ito. Diba? Now, bakit ba isosolve pa? Ma'am, bakit ba isosolve pa? Eh, hindi madali yung 25th term. Eh, matatagalan ka. Diba? Kaya, kung alam mo na yung rule, eh, di apply mo lang yung rule and then, mabilis na lang sumagot for the 25th term or any term. Okay? And, kaya nga, nth term ang tawag. So, kahit ano, basta meron ka ng rule. Okay? So, 25th term, that would be 5 times n, di ba? And then, palitan natin yung n ng 25. So, 5 times 25, that is just 125. Okay? So, the 25th term is 125. Right, next, we have 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Now, Ngayon, nakita mo na dagdag ulit ng 2, di ba? 8 plus 2, that is 10, plus 2, that is 12, plus 2, that is 14, plus 2, that is 16. So, ma'am, sabi mo, any number na paulit-ulit na idinagdag, ayun yung itabi mo sa n, di ba? So, tama nga, 2n. Ang problema, 8 ang first number natin. So, kung 2n lang ang ilagay mo, ang first number mo would be 2. Kasi 2 times 1 ay eh, 2. Eh, anong gagawin natin para magiging 8 yan? Eh, di ba dadagdagan natin ng 6? Kasi 2 lang eh. Kung 2n lang ang gagawin mo dyan. Kaya, ang rule natin would be 2n plus 6. Now nga, bakit, na, bakit natin dinadagdagan ng 6? Para lumabas ang 8. Diba? Kasi kung ita times mo yan sa 1, para sa first number, 2 lang ito. Kaya, para magiging 8, dagdagan mo ng 6. Okay, so ito na yung rule. So, paano natin gawin ulit yung ating um, computation? E di palit ulit. Ayan, first term. So, 2n plus 6. Tandaan yung n dito. Ito yung order. Kung panguna ba siya, pangalawa, pangatlo. So, ito yung ipapalit mo dito. Diba? So, 2 times 1 lang yan. Plus 6. That would be 2 times 1 is 2 plus 6. So, ang sagot is 8. Ayan. First term ba yan? Yes. Ayan siya eh. Diba? Let's have the third term. Okay. 2n plus 6. Again, palitan natin ito ng 3. Kasi third term ang hanap natin eh. So, 2 times 3 plus 6. So, this is 2 times 3 is 6 plus 6 and you have 12. Third term by 12? Yes. Diba? Fifth term, you have 2n plus 6. So, 2 times 5 plus 6 and that is 10 plus 6. And that would be 16. So, ito yung fifth term natin. So, hanap natin is the sixth, the seventh, and the eighth. So, sixth, palitan ulit natin to. Okay, so you have 12 plus 6, 18. Okay, seventh term, you have 2n plus 6. That would be 2 times 7 plus 6. And that is 14 plus 6, that is 20. Now, eighth term is 2n plus 6. So, 2 times 8 plus 6, and that would be 22. So, tignan natin. Skip count tayo, ha? So, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Tama. Okay? Tama yung next three terms natin. So, madali na lang to. Diba? So, 25th term, palitan natin ulit yung N. So, that is 2 times 25 plus 6. So, 2 times 25 is 50. Plus 6, sagot natin is 56. And you have the 25th term. Okay, tignan natin yung sequence na to. That is 20, 16, 12, 8, 4. No, ngayon, hindi ka na nagdadagdag, nagbabawas ka na. So, kung titignan mo, 20 ay nagiging four, uh, 16 minus 4. 16 nagiging 12 minus 4 ulit. And then, minus 4 ulit, that is 8. Minus 4 ulit, that is 4. So, minus 4. So, ibig sabihin, yung minus 4, yun na yung itabi natin sa n. Minus 4. Kaya lang, kung itabi mo yung minus 4 sa n, edi kung palitan natin yung n ng 1, ang unang number should be minus 4. ba? Kasi minus 4 n eh. E 20 yan. So, paano natin gawin na lumabas ang 20? Edi dapat, Magdagdag tayo sa minus 4n ng 24. Ayan. Kasi, 
24 minus 4 is 20. Para lumabas ang 20. Diba? Now, pwede ba nating baligtarin to? Yes. Pwede nating isulat ito para hindi kayo malito na nauna yung minus. Pwede mong baligtarin 24 minus 4n. Okay? So, ito yung gamitin nating rule, ha? Pero kung ito yung gamitin mo rule, pwede na rin. Kasi alam nyo na rin yung integers, diba? Alam nyo na kung paano magdagdag at magbawas uh, using integers or signed numbers. So, try natin ang first term. So, you have 24 minus 4n. Ito yung ginamit ko na rule. Okay? Pero pareho lang yan dalawa, ha? Okay, 24 minus 4n. So, that is 24 minus 4 times 1. So, multiply natin to. That is 24 minus 4. So, 24 minus 4, you have 20. At ayan ba yun ang first term natin? Yes. Ayan, lumabas siya. Okay? So, tandaan lang ha. Um, dapat alam nyo kung anong gagawin. Magdagdag ka ba ng 24? Magdagdag ka ba ng 6? Para lang lumabas ang unang number. Okay? So, second, uh, third term siya. So, 24 minus 4n. Again, substitute natin ang 3. So, you have 24 minus 12. So, this is, not, uh, this is now 12. So, ito yung third term. Tama. Fifth term, 24 minus 4n. 24 minus 4 times 5, kasi 5th. And then this is 24 minus 20. And 5th term is 4. And tama yung sagot natin. So, 6th term would be 24 minus 4n. So, 24 minus 4 times 6, 24. So, 24 minus 24, that is 0. Tama ba? Yes, kasi 4 minus 0. Kasi nagmaminus ng, ng 4, ba? So, dapat ang sunod na number is 0. Okay? So, let's try the 7th term. So, 7th term is 24 minus 4n. Palitan natin ulit ng 7. So, 24 minus 4 times 7. So, that is 24 minus 28. Eh, mas malaki na dito. Okay? So, dahil mas malaki na dito, kulang. Kulang ng 4 or negative ang sagot mo. Negative 4. Tama lang din kasi mula sa 0, minus 4, eh di tama, negative 4. Okay? Na kung nalilito, pwede mong palitan ito. Okay? Um, since integers lang kalabasan nito, gawin mo siyang positive, ay addition dito, and then i-change mo yung 28 ng negative. So, apply mo na yung rule ng integers. At ang sagot mo dapat is negative 4. Or, tignan mo na lang, Pag nag-minus ka at yung nauna ay maliit kaysa sa uh, nahuli, eh di dapat kulang. ba So, kung ano man yung kulang, negative na ang sagot mo doon. Kasi kulang siya eh. So, negative 4. Okay? Now, next, we have the 8th term. May 24 minus 4n. So, that is 24 minus 4 times 8. That is 24 minus 32. So, 32... Um, Diba kung i-apply natin to as integer, imang minus na natin to, diba? So, 32 minus 24, ang sagot dyan is negative 8 na. Okay? So, 6th, 7th, and 8th term ay 0, negative 4, and negative 8. So, paano yung 25th term? Ayan, tignan natin. 24 minus 4 times 25. So, this is 24 minus 100. So, yung kulang natin is 70. 6. So, negative 76 ang sagot natin. Okay? Alright. Now, paano ito? Eh, nakaano siya? Fraction. ba? So, kung titignan mo, from 1 third, okay, nagiging 1 fifth, nagiging 1 seventh, 1 ninth, 1 eleventh. Okay? Kung, kung i-observe mo, ang denominator ngayon ang nagdadagdag ng 2. Diba? So, every time na nag-skip ka, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2 ang denominator. Kaya, yung rule mo, lagyan mo na lang ng 1 sa taas. So, 1 sa taas, and then kung ano may dinagdag mo dito, which is 2, yun na yung itabi mo sa 2n. Okay? So, 1 over 2n supposed to be. Kaya lang, 1 third ang unang number. E eh, kung 1 over 2n ang ilagay mo, ang, ang first number mo ay lalabas na 1 over 2. Eh, kailangan magiging 3. Eh, didagdagan ng 1. So, that would be 1 over 2n plus 1. Okay? So, check natin. 6 term. Diretso tayo sa 6 term, ha? So, 6. Kung, kung titignan mo, 
dagdag ng 2, diba? So, this is 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So, sigurado dapat ang 6 term mo ay 1 over 13. Tignan natin kung lalabas. Okay. 1 over 2n plus 1. And then, palit natin yung 6 sa n, diba? So, this is 1 over, okay? 12 plus 1. Tama, kasi 2 times 6 ay 12, diba? So, ang sagot is 1 over 13. At tama yung sinabi ko. Okay? 8th term. Diretso tayo sa 8th term. Okay. So, 8th term. So, dapat 1 over 13. So, dapat ang 17th ay 1 over 15, diba? So, dapat sa 8th term, lalabas siya as 1 over uh, 17. Kasi 1 over 15 ang 7th uh, term. So, 1 13, 1 15th, 117 dapat ito. So, tignan natin. Ayan, 1 over 2n plus 1. So, substitute ulit. So, we have 1 over 2 times 8 plus 1. So, this is na 1 over 16 plus 1. And that is 1 over 17. At tama nga yung sinabi ko. Diba? 1 over 13, 1 over 15, 1 over 17. So, next 3 terms natin ay, ayan. Diba? And then, 25th term tayo. Okay. So, substitute ulit. So, ang N dito, gagawin natin 25. Ayan. And then, tandaan ha, bakit naka-parenthesis? Kasi i-multiply mo siya eh. Okay? So, this is now 1 over 50 plus 1 or 1 over 51. So, ito na yun ang sagot natin for the 25th term. 1 over 51. Okay, now ngayon, tignan natin. You have 1, 4, 916. Kung titignan mo, ma'am, iba yan ma'am eh. Kasi kung nag-add ka dito para magiging 4, eh di 3 yung inad mo. Tapos dito nagiging 5. Tapos dito nagiging um, 7 ang inad. Tapos dito, iba-iba ma'am eh. Yung inad ma'am eh. Yes, iba-iba. So, mahirap gawan ng rule kasi hindi parehong number ang dinagdag. Now, Compare nga natin siya sa order. ba? ito yung number 1. So, this is number 1. Ayan, number 1 na order. Ito yung number 2. Ito yung number 3. Yan ang number 4. Yan ang number 5. Now, kung dito ka titingin, hindi mo pa mahalata. Kaya lang, kung susundan mo, ayan, mahalata mo ay 10 times lang yung sarili niya, ma'am. ba? 5 times 5, 25. 4 times 4, 16. 3 times 3, 9. 2 times 2, 4. 1 times 1, 1. Kahit pa ilang beses may multiply yung 1, 1 pa rin yan eh. ba? Kaya dito mo siya mahalata. Ayan. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, dinoble lang pala yung number. Tinayim sa sarili niya para makuha yung sequence. ba? So, ang rule natin dito is n squared lang. Kasi nga, itinayim lang sa sarili niya. Tinayim ng dalawang beses, kaya n squared. Okay? So, kung n squared lang yan, edi yung kasunod ay 6, ba? Edi kung 6 yung kasunod, edi 6 times 6, ba? So, next term ay 36. So, ang sunod naman is pang 7, ba? So, 7 times 7, 49. Edi sunod ay pang 8. So, 8 times 8, 64. Ganyan lang. So, yung 25th term is 25 times 25. So, yung 25 times 25 is 625. Okay? So, hindi na natin sinold dito ha. Para mabilis lang. Okay. This one. You have 1, 8, 6, uh, 1, 8, 27, 64. Ayan. Hindi mo na naman makita kung ano yung uh, pattern niya. So, compare natin ulit sa order niya. So, this is number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4. Ayan. Kung titignan mo, mahalata mo na to. Okay? Uh, ang 3 kasi is 3 times 3 times 3, makukuha mo na yung 27. Okay? So, i-multiply mo nang, yung 3 ng tatlong beses, kuha mo yung 27. E, ganun din yung 2. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. Kaya, ibig sabihin, tatlong beses, i-multiply ang mga orders niya. Okay? Kaya ito, ganun din. 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 30, uh, 64. Okay? So, ang kasunod is 5, diba? So, 5 times 5 times 5. Okay? Yun na yung dito. Okay? So, ang rule nito is n cube. Kasi tatlong beses i-multiply yung n. Okay? Ito yung n, yung order. Tatlong beses i-multiply. So, ang kasunod nating term is 5 times 5 times 5, diba? So, that is 125. 
And then kasunod is 6 times 6 times 6. So that is 216. And then dito that is 7 times 7 times 7. And that is 343. So ibig sabihin dito sa pang 25th term, kasi 25 yung order niya, eh di multiply mo rin siya ng tatlong beses. 25 times 25 times 25. And you got... 15,625. Okay? Now, eto. Madali lang. Wala nang number, ma'am. Letter na lang. Letter Y. Eh, kung titignan mo, Y. Ilan bang Y dito? Isa lang, di ba? So, dito, dalawa na. Dito, tatlo, apat. Uh, okay? Or, uh, no. Ang, ang ano pala, yung ano niya dito. Yung, yung, yung number sa taas pala. Yung, yung subscript niya, ano, yung yung superscript niya dito sa taas. Ito yung nagbago. Ma'am, bakit hindi nilagyan ng 1? Kasi, pag isa lang yung Y, hindi mo na kailangan lagyan ng 1. Hindi mo naman sasabihin, isa, manika. Sasabihin mo lang naman, manika. Diba? Kaya, Y. Well, hindi mo na kailangan sabihin isang Y. Just Y, pwede na. So, kaya, tinatanggal yung 1 dito. So, this is just the same as Y1. So, kung titignan mo, kasun magkasunod lang yan eh. Y1, 2, 3, 4. So, ibig sabihin, okay, ang Y dito is raised to N. Kasi yung nasa maba, sa taas, ayun yung N eh. Kaya, rule nito is Y raised to N. Ganun lang yun. So, ang fifth term natin is Y raised to 5. Ang sixth ay Y raised to 6. At ang seventh ay Y raised to 7. E di yung 25th term is just Y raised to 25. Okay. Now, let's have this one. A, and then 2B, and then 3C, and then 4D. Ay, madali lang, ma'am. Okay. Yung mga numbers na itinabi ay pareho lang sa number ng uh, alphabet. ba? Sa a letter ng alphabet. Kung anong, anong uh, letter na tapat, yun din ang partner. ba? So, yung B is the second letter of the alphabet. Ito naman ay third. Ito naman ay fourth. E di alam mo na kung anong sagot dito. ba? So, for the rule, huwag mo na lagyan ng rule kasi alphabets na ito nagbabago kasi siya. Diretso na tayo sa next three terms. So, next three terms dito is just 5E and then 6F and then 7G. Now, meron bang 25? Yes, kasi ang alphabet is 26. So, Pang 25, eh di yung 25 na letter, pang 25 na letter. So, that is Y. Kaya 25Y. Kasi, ang huling let letter is Z. Ayun yung 26, ba? Now, this one, we have A. And then, pangalawang uh, term is A plus B. Pangatlong term is A plus 2B. So, huwag, huwag na tayo sa rule. Dito tayo diretso. Okay? So, A... That would be, kasunod ng 2 is 3. So, that is A plus 3B. Kasunod nito is A plus 4B. Kasunod nito is A plus 5B. Eh, di madali na lang pala ito, ba? Pero, hindi mo siya sasabihin naman pang 25 yan. Kaya siguro, ma'am, that is A plus 25B. Hindi na. Okay, bakit? Kasi ito, oh, tignan mo. Ito dito tayo tumingin sa pangatlo. Pangatlong number siya or pangatlong term siya, kaya lang yung number niya ay 2. Ito naman ay pang-apat, kaya lang ang number niya ay 3. So, meron na bawas na isa, ba? So, ibig sabihin, yung 25th term ay A pa rin yung una, and then plus 24B na. Kasi, may bawas na isa, oh. May bawas na isa, ba? Kaya, A plus 24B. Right, now dito, 7A, 5A, 3A. Okay, ito naman, nagmamainos ka lang. Okay? Mula dito, ma'am, nagma, nagbawas lang. So, anong binawas? 2A. Okay? Kasi para mo lang sinabi yan, pitong manika, tapos nagiging limang manika na, edi binawas yung dalawang manika. So, ibig sabihin, mula sa 7A, edi binawas yung dalawang A. Nagbawas ulit ng dalawang A, kaya tatlong A na lang. Bawas ka ulit ng dalawang A, edi isang A na lang, or just A. Kaya, Okay, pwede natin gawan ng, okay, tignan natin, ayan, pwede natin gawan ng rule yan. Nagbawas ng dalawang A, di ba? So, minus 2A, and then N times N mo, kasi yung N ay yun yung order, di ba? And then, plus 9A, bakit 9A? Kasi, kung minus 2A dito, okay, 
dapat, okay, dagdagan mo ng 9 para pag nag-minus ka ng 2, babalik siya sa 7. Okay? So, tignan natin, ha? Okay. So, this one here, okay, kung, kung i-substitute mo ito, this is just 1. So, minus 2a lang yan plus 9a. So, kung i-add mo na yung dalawa, minus 2a plus 9a, eh, di lalabas yung 7a. Integer lang yan. Okay? So, the next three terms would be, minus ka ng 2a, di ba? Eh, di a na lang. Minus ka ng 2a ulit. Kung mag-minus ka ng isang a, 0 pa yun, di ba? Eh, dagdagan mo pa ng another a. Minus ka pa ulit. Minus ka pa ulit ng another a pala. Kaya, kulang ka na ng isang a. So, this is now negative a. Minus ka ulit ng dalawa. So, minus 2a ulit. Tapos, minus a na ito. Eh, di nagiging minus 3a na. Okay? And then, yung 25th term, okay, would be, o di kung it i sa substitute natin yung 25 dyan, that is uh, negative 50a. Plus 9, that would be negative 41a. Okay? Now, kung nalilito, subukan nyo sa uh, scratch paper. Okay? Kung lalabas ba siya itong mga sagot na ito. Okay? Now, um, let's go to expressions. Okay? Now, bakit ma'am itatouch natin yung expressions? Na kung nahalata nyo, nagbabanggit na tayo ng mga letters. Okay? Letters and numbers. And kapag may letters and numbers, okay, you are now dealing with expressions. Kahit nga nga isang number lang eh. Bakit? Kasi, uh, sabi dito, expression is a number, a variable, or a combination combination of numbers and variables with operation symbols. Ano pa ibig sabihin nun, ma'am? Okay. Tignan natin ha. I-compare natin with equation. Okay? Um, equation. Ang equation, basta lang may equal sign. Tapos na. Okay? So, expressions, kung ang binanggit ay 2a lang, pareho dun sa mga examples natin kanina, 2a lang, or um, 7a, or minus 2a plus 9, okay? Dahil, wala namang sinabi, anong nangyayari dun? Wala ka namang sinold, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, kapag hindi pa, hindi pa sinold, walang equal sign, expression lang yon Kapag meron ng equal sign, equation na yon At ito ay compare natin sa English. Expressions are just phrases. Ito ngayon ay sentences. So, ano ba ibig sabihin nun? Okay, ganito lang. Ayan, a girl. Pag sinabing a girl, ano ngayon? Complete ba yung thought? Hindi, di ba? Kasi wala namang sinabi. Sabi lang, a girl. Pero pag sinabing, a girl is looking at me. E, iba na yon. Ibig sabihin, naiintindihan mo na na my girl na tumitingin sa'yo. Di ba? Dito, sabi lang, a girl. O wala. Ano yon? So, this is a phrase. Okay? This is a sentence. Okay? And, yung phrase ay compare mo sa expressions. In mathematics, expressions yun kapag walang equal sign. Kaya, tapos, in uh, yung sentence naman, in mathematics, tatawagin natin yan as equation. Now, bakit equation? Because of the equal sign. Kasi, connected na yung dalawang expressions with an equal sign. It could be a number after the equal or a combination of variables and numbers. Na ano ba yung variable? Yun yung lahat ng letters na ginamit natin. Kasi nagbabago ang value niya. Kaya nagbabary, kaya variable. Kaya yung n na ginamit natin doon sa mga rule natin ay nagbabago yung number niya. Depende sa order, di ba? Kaya tinatawag yung n na yun as a variable. Kasi nagbabary ang value niya. Okay? Now, another example for expressions or phrases. Eating popcorn. Ano ngayon? What is eating popcorn? Pero kung sasabihin mo, I love eating popcorn, o oh, naintindihan mo na. Kompleto na yung thought, di ba? So, it says here, you love eating popcorn. Dito, wala lang. Sinabi lang na eating popcorn. Hindi kompleto ang thought. Okay? Another one, the missing dog. O ano ngayon sa missing dog? Okay? So, this is just a phrase. Pero kung kompletohin mo yan, yan, the missing dog was just lying under the tree. Ay, di manalaman mo na, ay, yung nawawalang aso pala, ma'am, ay nandun lang sa ilalim ng uh, punong kahoy. Eh. ba? Okay. So, in mathematics, this is an expression. Kasi nga sabi, 
numbers or variables. At sabi ko, variables, ayun yung letters, di ba? So, 2B. Ano ngayon sa 2B? So, dahil wala namang sinabi, that is just an expression, di ba? Pero, pag sinabi mong 2B is equal to 10, eh, di iba na yun. Ibig sabihin, ay, dalawang B, ma'am, ma'am pala is equal to 10. So, ibig sabihin, yung B pala, ma'am, is equal to 5. Kasi, dalawang 5 ay 10. So, kung sinabing dalawang B ay 10, eh, di yung B is equal to 5. Kaya, nakukompleto yung thought. Okay? Dahil sa equal sign. At ito na ngayon ang tinatawag nating equation. Okay? So, we'll have more examples. Ayan. So, this time, compare natin ang expression at saka word phrases. So, kapag expression in mathematics, symbols, numbers lang yan and operation. Sa so, pareho dito, 5 plus 8. O, anong nangyari sa 5 plus 8? Lalang. Basta 5 plus 8. And that is an expression. And in word phrase, okay, pwede mong sabihin na 5 plus 8, ma'am, ibig lang sabihin yan ay, in words, ay, sulat ko lang yan ng ganyan, ma'am. 5 plus 8. Pero, dahil word phrase na ito, pwede kang gumamit ng ibang words. Kasi maraming words ang pwedeng gamitin, okay, na ang meaning ay pareho lang dito. So, ano ba yun? Okay, pwede mong sabihin, 5 added to 8. Tama yun. Or you could say, the sum of 5 and 8. Okay, so, eto lahat ng word phrases na to, ang meaning dito, eto lang din. Okay, so this is a mathematical expression. This, these are word phrases. Now, n minus 2. Eh, di pwede natin sabihin na n minus 2. Ganyan lang. Pwede mo rin sabihin na n decreased by 2 or Kung nahalata nyo, this is the sum. Kapag sum, sagot ng addition, di ba? Di pwede mo rin sabihin dito, the difference. Kasi sagot ng uh, subtraction is difference. Kaya pwede mo rin sabihin, the difference between n and 2. Di ba? Now, how about this one? Okay, 3x. Na sinabi ko na kapag ang number ay katabi ng letter, okay, multiplication na yun. So, pwede mo sabihin na 3 times x pwede nang sabihin na 3 multiplied by x or tulad ng ginawa dito banggitin mo yung sagot sa multiplication and that is product diba? so you would say the product of 3 and x at marami pa to klas ha okay? itong binanggit ko dito tigta tatlo tatlo lang okay? let's have this one so this is now division diba? sinabi ko na kapag ah, nakasulat in fraction that is another way to write division so Pwede mong sabihin, okay, at lagi kong binabanggit, over. Now, 6 over y, or x over y, yan. Pwede mo rin sabihin, x divided by y, kasi nga, division ang isang, uh, or, or fraction denotes division. Kaya pwede mong sabihin, x divided by y, or pwede mong banggitin na naman yung sagot sa division, which is quotient, diba? So, you would say, the quotient of x and y, diba? Now, this time, compare natin ang equation at saka sentence. So, you have 5, 8 is equal to 13. Ayan. Kaya nga siya tinawag na equation because of the word equal. Kaya, kinunek niya ang dalawang expressions. Okay? Kahit isa lang dito yung number. Okay? So, that would still work as an expression. So, connect yung dalawang expression with an equal sign. So, nabuo na ngayon ang equation. Okay? So, in sentence, you could say na 5 plus 8 equals 13. Now, another way to say it is 5 added to 8 is 13. So, check nyo. Is tapos 13. So, ibig sabihin, is ay pwede mo mo translate into equal. Okay? Kasi parang ano lang yan eh. Pag sinabi mong ah, uh, 1 and 2 is 3. E di inad mo na yung 1 and 2, di ba? So, is ay pwede siyang ipalit sa equal. Okay? Now, the sum of 5 and 8 is equal to 13. Ayan. So, pareho lang si ginawa ko dati sa, sa unang slide uh, earlier, pero may equal na. Okay? Ayan. Next, we have n minus 2 equals 10. Uh, ayan. n minus 2 is 10. Pwede yun. Okay? And decreased by 2 is equal to 10. And then, the difference between 2 and, uh, between n and 2 is 10. And then we have 
3x equals 15 or 3 times x equals 15. Ayan. 3 times x is 15. 3 multiplied by x is equal to 15. So, dito, pwede mo gawing is equal to 15. Pwede rin dito is 15. Depende na lang paano mo gawin. Okay? And then, you could say the product of 3 and x is 15. Next, we have x over y is equal to 4. So, pwede mong sabihin, x over y is 4. Napakadali, no? Napakasimple lang. Pwede mo rin sabihin, x divided by y equals 4. And then, the quotient of x and y is equal to 4. Right? So, um, kung nahalata nyo, dumiretso tayo sa expressions and equations kasi dun sa ginawa nating patterns, lumabas na yung mga letters, okay, and numbers, or combination, di ba? Kaya maganda na rin nung, uh, maganda na rin yung uh, naintindihan nyo ano ba yung numbers and letters combined. So, tawag lang natin doon ay expressions at kapag may equal sign, that is now an equation. Okay? So, that is all and thank you for watching.